What is up everybody? This is Omega Belmont back again today with an awesome awesome figure and the figure that I've been the statue that actually statue that I've been waiting for for the longest time uh, since they announced it. Uh, and I finally got it in my hands, came in this morning, and I had to do the video real quick because, you know what, I'm super excited about it, and I kind of want to open it up. So, <laughs> uh, But today, of course, I got an awesome statue here from Gecko. Uh, this is, uh, if you've seen my uh, Metal, Gear, uh, uh, Metal Gear Rising uh, figure with uh, Raiden, uh, the same company that has done this. But for today, of course, it is Guts from Berserk. Uh, this is actually the Black Swordsman version, so this is when he's uh, after, I guess you call the Golden Age of Berserk. Uh, now he's kind of wandering around, uh, you know, fighting uh, demons and things now, so uh, this is that version. Of course he has the, what you call it, Dragon Sword or whatever. Uh, the, what, is that what it's called again? I can't remember. It's been a while since I read uh, Guts, but uh, anyways, this is the one where he has the big old sword you can see from the back there, and of course he's all kind of uh, decked out in black armor. Uh, this is actually a freaking awesome statue. Uh, of course, this is a 1-6 scale statue. Looks freaking awesome to me. Uh, of course, I think it sits around a little bit high, taller than 12 inches, uh, because I think the stat the figure itself, the statue itself, is 12 inches, but his sword kind of goes a little bit above that, so, uh, including, and then, of course, he's super long, too, so, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, like I said, it's about probably 12 plus inches tall, so, but, and it's a pretty expensive, uh, statue itself, so, uh, it's not as, ex as uh, expensive as a lot of the... Other ones that you can find, those are like, because those are like limited to like two, three hundred only, so they're up in the thousands or you know eight hundred dollars. Uh, this is actually a lot cheaper than that, uh, and I think it looks pretty good too. So uh, something you you know I can afford. It's a little bit more pricey, but uh, at the same time, like I said, it's something you can afford. Uh, the the art of war stuff is the is what it's called. It's super expensive. Uh, yeah, if you if you don't have a limit on money at all, you know, the Art of War stuff looks really awesome, but like I said, uh, for how big they are, you know, I don't think they're, they're worth like, you know, thousands of dollars to get them, but anyways, uh, we'll take a look at the box here, of course we have the front of the box, uh, you got, of course it says 1-6, oh, you, well, you can't read it, but on the top it says 1-6 scale, you got a picture here, and on the bottom, of course, his name, Guts and the Black Swordsman, uh, we'll go look into the side here. Uh, the, the weirdest part is actually a lot of these are all in English. This is actually an import uh, figure or statue, and everything here is in English. It gives you a look at the sculptor, uh, painter, and all the you know producer and all that, and the 3D printing and the digital sculpt and all that. So it gives you all the list of all, and that's pretty awesome. I like that. Uh, so I will take a read of that uh, later. Uh, but we're here just to look at the box, of course. If you go to the back here, you actually get a look at the statue. Uh, of course, like I said, he's in his black uh, swordsman getup. He has the sword coming flowing out this way. So, like I said, it's probably taller than 12 inches, uh, just because of the sword itself. And then, of course, he's kind of standing on, I think, like some demons or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. I totally forgot how it looks like, but uh, pretty awesome stuff there. And then, of course, we'll take a look at the side here, and then you get like a synopsis of the berserk, or, like an arc of the manga of course of course you get a look at uh figure features uh pretty cool stuff so you can just all read that awesome stuff like, like i said the coolest part is it's in, it's in english <laughs> so that's the coolest part of me so anyways let's take a look at the figure all right folks here is the statue looking pretty awesome uh the biggest concern I had when I saw the, the prototype pictures was the fact that he was a little bit uh, lighter skin, uh, but uh, if you look at this, the, the, the final product, it looks actually really good. Uh, I think he's now he's a little bit darker skin, just like in the, the, the manga, and I think that looks freaking awesome. He did come with some accessories, I guess you can call it. Uh, he comes with a sword, of course, as you can see from... Uh, how how bloody it is. He's probably been fighting, so that's why it's all red on the top there. And then it kind of goes, kind of the red shade kind of gets a little bit lighter as it goes down toward the bottom of the, his uh, dragon. Uh, what is it? Dragon Slayer? I think that's what it's called. Or Horse Slayer? Dragon Slayer? <laughs> uh, and then, of course, 
Uh, the other stuff like this is pretty cool too to me. Uh, if you can see from here, it's actually this little pouch that can open and close. Uh, you kind of just pop it right in there and that's it. Uh, his, I don't know if any of the swords can to be taken. Well, nope. But uh, you do kind of have to be careful with, I, I was reading the instructions, you kind of have to be careful with the springs here on his arm. That can actually break, so you have to be, be careful with that. But he does come with a different face, or a different head. Uh, like, this, 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 this is the head here, the kind of like a smirk kind of uh, smile, so he does come with that. But I like, I like this one better with the, the kind of just uh, you know, normal stare, looking at you, kind of just how he is pretty much in the, the, the manga. But... Like I said, I want to give it a quick spin around here real quick before we do anything else. Uh, I do love the figure, uh, the statue itself. I uh, will talk about some of the aspects that I love about it and some of the aspects that I don't like about it. Uh, so there we go. That's the look around it. Uh, I do like the base. If you can tell, a lot of the, even with the uh, rate, or the riding base that I had that uh, for the Metal Gear uh, Rising uh, statue that I have, uh, it kind of it, it kind of reminds me of that because you have like a demon here on the bottom, and he's kind of split in half, uh, and then you see the guts and stuff, guts. Uh, you see the guts right in the middle there, standing in front. Of course, there's another a demon head right here that's been sliced off in half, and it's pretty nasty looking because his eyes are almost like bulging out. And then, uh, of course, you can see like a lot of the his teeth right here and then just oh I don't, even, I don't know if you know I touched it it felt kind of gross even though it's not real it felt kind of weird but uh and then of course the demon's arm kind of just uh, wraps around on this side here uh and then of course on the other side here is like I don't know is that a branch is that a tree or something or maybe it's another part of a demon but on the bottom here I don't know if you can see it that well but it looks like it's like a part of a tree but it's kind of like almost very very uh kind of slimy looking I don't know if that's supposed to be a demon or uh, a tree I think that's supposed to be a tree and then of course the base is freaking awesome like I said uh, a lot of the gecko bases look pretty cool now we're going up uh, to the statue itself throughout the statue I think it looks freaking awesome his cape could be a little bit better I guess uh, that's the only thing I have a problem with is the cape other than that uh, it's pretty simple uh, it's kind of like a rough texture cape uh, you can feel that. I feel like it might break or something if I like handle it too hard. So you kind of have to be careful with that. Uh, and then, like I said, he has like pouches here that you can open up a spring in his uh, his hand right there that can actually break. So you gotta be careful with that. Other than that, it was pretty simple to set up. Uh, he actually just comes without his cape. You actually put it on the cape. You just pop off his head here, boop, and it's pretty simple. And then you just put on the cape. And there's like a little peg that goes into his, his uh, right shoulder here. That you can put the cape into, uh, and that's when you know it's seated well. And then, of course, the sword on the top here it actually comes separate. So uh, you kind of what I I had trouble putting it putting it in. So I actually had to like kind of force his hand up a bit and then plop it in there. Uh, there is a little gap in between his shoulder where his cape is that where the the sword could sit. So uh, that looks freaking awesome. Other than that, it's it was a pretty simple setup. Nothing too hard. I don't know this chain that comes with. Uh, that comes uh, with his, the cape in the back here. I don't, know, I don't know where it went, so I just kind of put it up in this sword. I don't even know if that's where it's supposed to go, but uh, it looks like it. <laughs> that's probably is. Uh, that's where it's supposed to go because it looks like it, it hangs on there. But if it doesn't, I, I'll just let it loose. But it looks weird when it comes out loose because it, it's a pretty long uh, little uh, chain that goes to the bottom here. So uh, that's where I left it. But other than that, uh, I, you know what? I have nothing really bad to say about it. I mean... Other than, uh, yeah, just, other than the cape looking a little bit roughed up, that to me is just like a minimal kind of, kind of uh, a negative towards the figure. Other than that, to me, it still looks freaking awesome. He still looks pretty much detailed on. I like his, I just like the stereo he has right there. He looks like he's just like, you know, mad dogging you and things like that. I think that looks freaking awesome. Uh, like I said, awesome base. The sculpt itself is fantastic throughout. Uh, the figure. Uh, let's see if I can find anything else. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And then, of course, I ain't even never even looked in the back there yet. And so, what would I give this figure? I think the figure itself looks awesome. Cool base. It looks awesome. Uh, the the sculpt itself looks really awesome. I like the, the the blood on his sword there. I think that looks fantastic there. Uh, but if I was to give it, uh, I think I'll give it like a nine out of ten. I think it still looks. Like I said, the, the problem with the figure 
The only thing the really problem I have with this is actually the cape itself. It looks roughed up. I think it feels like a better material. If it looked kind of like his uh, this material here, uh, even on his pants here, I think that would look pretty cool instead of looking kind of like ashy looking. But maybe that's how it looks like. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I, I think if it looks a little bit like this material here, or maybe even like a cloth-like, it would look cool. Uh, but it looks just like it's like ashed. Maybe, maybe, maybe I, I'm, I'm wrong about that. But uh, that's that's what it looks like. So, like I said, a nine out of ten. It's still a really strong figure, uh, a strong statue, I should say. But it does run up pretty high for price-wise. I think it was like three hundred something dollars for the, the statue itself so uh, it's a pretty hefty price but like I said it's not as bad it's not as expensive as any of the Art of War stuff which is you're looking at maybe like I said close to $8,900 $8, to a thousand plus but uh, they have some pretty awesome uh, statues there anyways uh, mostly the one with the Berserker armor uh, hopefully Gecko uh, picks up their production and uh, do a Berserker armor uh, guts because I, I would love to see that uh, and they should have like interchangeable heads, one with the open mouth, and then the one with his uh, normal, maybe three heads. Uh, one with his uh, mouth that's open, one with just a normal head, and then one with, of course, uh, his face kind of just, you, you, you know, you see part of his face on it. That would be cool. So, uh, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here. Uh, it, like I said, awesome figure. It is a pricey figure, but... Uh, it's pretty good sculpt throughout awesome base now the only problem I have is I have to make room for it so uh, but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys come back for some more uh, action figure statues uh, figures uh, all that uh, review and unboxing of course uh, and I'll see everybody next time this is Omega Belmont and see ya peace out